Murder suspect in Southfield is shot and killed by police. Investigators say he was on the run after killing his ex-girlfriend and shooting her boyfriend. Fox 2's Jessica Dupnack joining us live. And Jessica, how the suspect and the kid victim had kids together. Do we know if they're okay at this point? Those kids are okay. They are currently with family. And this suspect actually dropped those kids off here in the area of Seven Mile and the line. Salute to this brother, man. I know that I know y'all like, damn, he's saluting this brother. Listen, first of all, two things. There's not much. Listen, it's not much to work with, man, in the stand. You know what I'm saying? But salute to this brother, man. Every man here has thought about killing their wife. Hit one if you thought about killing your wife or your girlfriend in the last year. And ladies, hit one if you thought about killing your husband or your, or your boyfriend in the last year. Everyone's thought about killing their spouse, man. It's crossed your mind, man. <laughs> if that shit ain't crossed your mind, man, you lied, man. I think you lied, man. I don't believe you, man. <laughs> I don't believe you, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Drop the kids off somewhere, man. Let them live, man. Let them go on with their life, man. If you want, if you want. If you're going to do that, if you're going to kill her and kill yourself, then go have at it, man. Let them little kids leave, man. Because you guys don't know, man. I, I don't know if I told you this before. My um, That's how I ended up in America, man. My mom... My mom you know, she met my dad in in, 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 in in college in New York. You know, my mom went to Columbia and shit. Columbia. She's a very smart lady. She went to Columbia. Met this African guy, man, in New York in the 70s and shit. Went over to Africa with him. Once they get over to Africa, just like that, flip the switch on her, right? This is her story now. I don't know his story. He doesn't talk, and I only talked to him a few times. He flipped the stretch, you know, get on that African shit, like I'm the man, you the woman, and da 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 started being abusive, right? And the abuse got so bad that she had to leave in the middle of the night. He said he was, she said that he said he was going to take me from her because over there in the 70s, the man could, you know, basically do whatever he wanted to do. So in the middle of the night, one night, she packed me up and got somebody to, to, to take her to the fucking airport and got on the first thing smoking and came to, came back to America when I was a little baby and shit. You know what I'm saying? So so let the let the let the kids live, man. Let the kids live, man. Let the kids live, man. I'm all for letting the kids live, man. Let the kids live, man. Murder suspect in Southfield is shot and killed by police. Investigators say he was on the run after killing his ex-girlfriend and shooting her boyfriend. Fox 2's Jessica Dupnack joining us live. And Jessica, how the suspect and the kid victim had kids together. Do we know if they're okay at this point? 
Those kids are okay. They are currently with family. And this suspect actually dropped those kids off here in the area of Seven Mile and the Lodge at a friend's house. Before this all happened with police, he gave those children some money and said his goodbyes. The scene behind me clearing up right now, but this is where it all ended for that 49-year-old man allegedly pulling an assault rifle out towards police, and they fired at him. He fell out the car and just died. But uh, it's very traumatizing to see. It's, it's very devastating to see. This witness says it perfectly. The day started six miles north of here at the Southfield Marriott after 9 o'clock. Evidence markers trail a spray of gunfire where a 49-year-old man used an assault rifle and shot his child's mother and her new boyfriend. She was killed. He is in critical condition. It appears that he waited in the parking lot until they exited the hotel at which time he used an assault rifle and did shoot both of them. Police sources say after the double shooting, the 49-year-old suspect went to his Warren home, switched out cars into this now shot up black Camaro. He then picked up the couple's kids from school, gave them money and said his goodbyes before dropping them off at a friend's house near the lodge in seven miles. Salute to that guy, man. Yeah, he a real one, man. He a real one, man. A real one, man. I don't condone him killing the girlfriend. I'm not condoning him killing the girlfriend and shooting and trying to kill the boyfriend. I'm not condoning it. But that's between y'all, y'all adults, man. Lead them kids out of it, man. Mile nearby is ultimately where Southfield police tracked him, trying to pull him over. He lowered the top of the uh, Camaro. Uh, just prior to us making that traffic stop, at which time our officers tried to engage him. He didn't reach for that assault rifle, uh, and the officers did use deadly force and uh, shot the suspect, fatally wounded him. Three Southfield police officers were involved in the shooting. The motive here, a jealous ex-partner. There's no excuse for an individual to use this type of violence uh, over breakup. The new boyfriend, the 41 year old man that was shot, he is in critical condition, but we are learning that he is stable. Uh, Southfield Police Chief credit. He was 49. The boyfriend, was, the new boyfriend was 41. She left him for a younger man. This seemed like some glider shit, man. This motherfucker had two cars, man. He went home and switched out into a Camaro. This seemed like some glider shit. That man for before he went in the hospital, he gave them some very important information about the suspect. And that was how they were able to track him to this location here. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Oh, it's good they stopped him when they did. But Jessica, talk about the suspect and his ex's relationship a little bit more. Had there been domestic issues in the past? Had he made threats against her? So on record, according to court records, there were no domestic filings against this man. He did serve some time in prison for an armed robbery in the mid nineties. Okay, he's a son, my bad. <laughs> he's a son, my bad. Nineties. It does appear that the couple has a long history. Uh, the man is actually from this general area right here. They have a long history, kids together. Mm. Uh, but again, it sounds like jealousy is the motive here. All right, Jessica, thanks goodness those children are okay. I appreciate the report.